Okay, let's talk about the mid-segment theorem. The mid-segment theorem deals with a segment of a triangle or a portion of a triangle, technically a portion of a side, and the middle of that segment. So if we pick a side of our triangle, let's say we'll call this triangle ABC. If we pick a side, say side AC here, and we divide it in half and put a little marker right here at the center of that side right here, and then we do the same thing for side AB and put a little marker at the center of it. If we then connect those two center points, those two midpoints of those two sides with a line, this line then becomes our mid-segment. A segment of a line formed by the two midpoints of the sides of a triangle. Now this is interesting because that means that this piece here and this piece here are equal, since that was the middle of that line that we chose, and this piece here and this piece here are equal, since it was the middle of this line that we chose. When you have a mid-segment, there are a number of things about it that are important. First of all, this line, the mid-segment, is always parallel to the third line of the triangle, the third side of the triangle, in this case CB. So our mid-segment is parallel to side CB, that's going to be the case. And of course, if that's the case, then if I were to draw a line vertically from the mid-segment, it would meet CB at a 90 degree angle, because if they're parallel, then a line that crosses one at 90 degrees is going to cross the other at 90 degrees, right? And also, this line right here, if it goes through the middle of the two sides as we've drawn it, it's going to be exactly half the length of the other side. So the length of the mid-segment is going to be equal to one-half of the length of CB. So if I, for instance, knew that CB was 10 units long, then I'd know that the mid-segment was 5 units long. Kind of a slick trick. So let's take a look at how these uh, rules apply to our example questions, and I'll talk to you again in a minute.